Now rectified linear unit function, which is called a ReLU activation function. What is a ReLU activation function? According to the definition that we have, ReLU is a linear activation function which is used for regression problem. It is used in hidden layers as well as in output layer of the neural network. Look, ReLU stands for rectified linear unit. RE means rectified, L means linear, U means unit. Rectified linear unit activation function. It is actually a linear activation function which is used for regression problems. Remember, we have two types of problems, regression problems and classification problems. In the classification problems, we may have multiple classifications, but for the regressions, we have only two values, either zero or one, either positive one or negative one. So this is the difference between regression and classification problem. ReLU activation functions is used for the regression problems. It is used in the hidden layer as well as in the output layer of the neural network. ReLU activation function blocks all the negative values and limits them to zero. Therefore, it pops off vanishing gradient descent, which creates problem in learning of the model. So it takes all the real numbers between zero and positive infinity. ReLU activation function blocks all the negative values. If you put negative value as an input to the model, it will return only zero. Whatever value you put there in the negative form, you will only get zero as an output. So there is a restrictions for the negative values that you will get only zero in the output. And that is the reason it creates a vanishing gradient descent problem. Vanishing gradient descent problem is a problem where it creates issue in learning of the model. The model cannot learn properly when vanishing gradient descent problem exists. So you have to avoid of vanishing gradient descent problem during learning of the model. It takes all the real numbers between zero and positive infinity. So from zero up to positive infinity, it takes all the real numbers. Now according to the piecewise function which is f of x equals to zero when x is less than zero x when x equals to or greater than zero. So here is the typical graph of the rectified linear unit activation function. It is a real low activation function. We already know that x equals to summation of the input times weight. Expected output will be from zero up to positive infinity. Look, this is the mathematical touch of the real low activation function, where f of x is a piecewise function. According to this function, f of x, whether you put f of x or y, it is exactly one thing. Suppose if you put y, it is not an issue. So f of x equals to 0 when x is less than 0. f of x will be x when x equals to or greater than 0, which means that whatever value you put it here for the x, it will return the same, exactly the same value in the output if x equals to or greater than 0. As I said, x is actually the summation of the input times weight. So expected output will be from zero up to positive infinity. Now, when you look to the graph here, this is the typical graph for the ReLU activation function. For the negative values, it only returns zero. So it doesn't care whether you put negative one, negative two, or negative one million, negative one billion, whatever you want. Whatever thing you put it here for the negative, ultimately you will get zero as an output. But what if x equals to or greater than zero, equals to or greater than zero, which means it on a positive side, positive values. For example, if you pass one as an input, it will return one. If you pass two as an input, it will return in the output. If you pass one million as an input, it will return one million in the output. So this x means that exactly the same value will be returned as an output if you pass that value as an input to the neural network. But don't forget, it will always return zero if you put negative value as an input to the model. So the output range is from zero up to positive infinity. Infinity is not included. Remember, infinity is not a number. From zero up to positive infinity. Zero is included. Infinity is not included. Let me show a simple neural network here. If you pass the input, you will get the output range from zero up to positive infinity. Look, it is a simple neural network where we have used a real activation function. For example, 
what is this f this f is the activation function look x sub 1 and x sub 2 are the two inputs here x sub 1 times w and then plus bias value so in the output it will return the value from 0 up to positive infinity as I said if you put any negative value it can be negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 up to negative infinity whatever negative value you put it here negative 1 billion whatever you want as long as the input is in negative form it will only return 0 as an output but the time when you put positive value as an input for example 1 it will return 1 if you put 2 it will return 2 if you put 10 it will return 10 if you put 1 billion it will return 1 billion here so from 0 up to positive infinity it can return any number any number depends on the input so whatever positive value you pass here as an input to this neural network model it will return exactly the same value I repeat it exactly the same value if you put 1 positive 1 it will return positive 1 if you put positive 5 it will return positive 5 but if you put it in the negative form like negative 1 negative negative 3 any number any negative number will return only 0 only 0 in the output so we can say that it is not ideal for multi-class classification problems it is helpful for the regression problem but not for the classification problems especially multi-class classification problems because there is a restriction for example in the multi-class classification problems expected negative value in the output which you won't get with the help of the value activation function you will always get zero as an output for any negative value because of this restriction it creates a vanishing gradient descent problem what is vanishing gradient descent problem it is a problem which creates issue in learning the model in learning neural network model it has issue during the learning so you have to avoid vanishing gradient descent problem therefore we can say that it is not ideal for multi-class classification problems because there is clear restrictions that for negative values it always returns zero